You show up to bring your round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. Shit, Barbarus. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <coughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Come Welcome. On. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand responsible for the safety of our community and we treat this seriously that's why we did what we did i hope you can forgive us so pray tell what's it like in the outside world these days bad and getting worse Men's are shrinking in size and number i'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go doesn't surprise me son Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? Uh, we are called the people of the bazaar because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics. And the dark cloud that it's blanket. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for oh, example. Yeah. Courage and patience. We will someday create a paradise. You seem almost thankful for the collection. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism. Belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So. We here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on fee. A society where people support each other and justice. Police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. So is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No, but you came from outside and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a wolf. Oh, wow. What are you then? Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, uh, yes. These are not people of metaphors or poetry or to act. Acting, I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine, I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are men. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Fair. Yeah, that's all. Well. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you got no one to lean on, <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> Don't hurt him, Herman. <laughs> Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? 
And what are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop on pile. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any people who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, you what, Josh? The way Carl talked, you sounded more like past. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution has oh, two things Oh, it's a new type of zombie. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Yeah, Fine. it's a new type I'll of zombie. talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can bring you bigger jobs. Yeah, I think I messed up my thing again. I, th I think there's way more mistakes in this game. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Took me like an hour to get to the city. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I've pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. 
Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, Will you first and foremost, Josh? it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry. <laughs> yeah, I could hear it. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Ender is killed. They turned the place upside down. Found some powdered milk in the old school. Hidden behind this collapsed metal. You look anxious. You look urban, your nosy friends back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm. Ballsy. Okay then. What does your hungry soul crave? <laughs> Someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Luke. <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity. Oh, pardon me. Opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Any more side quests in here? You know they used to call this time of day the golden hour? Oh, well. they went gold but hey. There are reasons to go. He's developed this compound of mushrooms and humans. Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. Oh, I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Uh, wait. Take this. A little sweetness for the circus. Ah, honey and backhanded compliments like that? Honey and wisdom, both my gifts to you. So much darkness in the world, why not brighten up <laughs> with a smile? Oh, pardon me. For you. Mom, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? Why 
We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes, and not based on rumor or innuendo. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Uh, let's talk to her. Here we go. Sophie, can we talk? <laughs> Let him talk. Train. Oh, you have to go to one of the other buildings, Josh. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You you're sure you see that you. train Don't have much hanging of a over I'm in charge of the wall? Here. Besides, there should be a building where you could entrance. walk up and I'm jump on for it. A job. Would you happen to know of any? People here say you can be useful. No, you could walk around. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some. For transaction. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... F fuckwits? Who? That fellow! Oh, okay. Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... Uh, <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Look no further, young man. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And for regret. And well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. I don't so know. that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. A fucking kid. I'll kill Gosh. him. I'll just kill him. <laughs> no. How'd Barney get wounded? How far are you? How far are you? My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from <laughs> no. you? No. Your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. You? 
I've been to the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? Okay. If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. Yeah, I found another glitch. Yeah, we're game glitch again. <laughs> no, we're to fix that is to leave and rejoin again. Are you fighting zombies or people? people. Oh. No um, I, I'll kill a few of them. And so, I took his kids in. Did you know that little girl is supposed to... Be discreet. Not go shouting in the yeah, middle well. of the... Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you All won't right. regret it. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. <laughs> Herman. Bar Barney. So... But it went through all this. How'd Barney? Good luck. Nighttime stories. Yeah. We've got a lot of side missions, so we do that first. We should stop. That, that's closer. Uh, Barney must. Oh, he's wounded after all. Yeah, the melee combat is the one that's good. I can hear you in the chat. There's a question mark. Question mark. It's not a question. Stop blocking my sad ass. Yeah, can I unlock that safe zone? Why is that red? We can still use interesting like pilgrim. I got a table. Aiden. Yeah, That's Aiden. Just been offered and leashed. I need more than just leash. Whatever. We'll do. Over and out.
Bolt. Why is this door red? Also, Josh, when it's dark, you have to stay in his air so Unless, well, until five Damien minutes in the game. Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. You know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Mm. Yeah, I'm alone. You better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Are you... Oh. I'm gonna raid this guys. Wow. What did I went to the fight job? Uh, here for the job. Right. So you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job, then. To do it is that you're not all that well-known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Wonder. Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Call him in, boys. <clears throat> You're dead now, fucker. Get him. Why do I have five crackers equipped? Alright, that's one guy down. Just a spear. Bathroom, bathroom. Mm. <laughs> Parliament. Another spear. A knife. By the way, the lockpick is kind of the same from the first one. 